Hey everyone and welcome to another Simple Science video. In this video we are going to be looking at metals and non-metals. In the periodic table there are over than 100 elements and these can be classified into three groups that we can use to basically easily distinguish between themselves. And they are metals, non-metals and metalloids. But in this video we are only be focusing on metals and non-metals. Alright. And you should know that the differences between metals and non-metals are mainly due to the bonding and interatomic or intermolecular structure. So let's get to our first property, and that is shine. Metals are generally more shiny than non-metals if you were to compare silver and carbon. Silver is obviously more shiny than carbon, and that goes to many, many other comparisons between metals and non-metals. The next one is that due to mobile electrons, metals can conduct better than non-metals. Now, that means they can conduct heat better and they can conduct electricity better. Metals have a layered structure in its metallic bonding that allows the layers to slide and the glue of the free and localized electrons to basically hold it together. Whereas... Non-metals either have rigid covalent bonds or the lack of immovable layers, such as in metals. So therefore, non-metals are stiff and brittle, obviously. If you were to try to break apart a piece, a piece of coal, it would seem very brittle, alright? Metals have stronger bonding, mostly metallic bonding, than non-metals, which mainly have intermolecular forces between its molecules, and therefore, due to stronger bonds, it has a higher melting point for almost every metal, alright? And also, these bonds are closer, so therefore, there are more metal ions, metal cations, or metal atoms, if you were to consider it, basically in a fixed volume when you're comparing it to non-metal, so therefore, they're generally more dense, all right? Metals, when they take part in reactions, they form positive ions, and non-metals generally form negative ions, and you were to see this reaction as an example. And the final point is that metal oxides are generally basic, whilst non-metal oxides are generally acidic. For example, magnesium oxide or sodium oxide are basically very basic oxides, whereas non-metal oxides like sulfur dioxide or nitrogen dioxide or any other oxides of nitrogen, they are generally acidic. Here are a list of some exceptions to the properties and its general trends I have just talked about. Graphite, which is non-metal, comes from carbon, can conduct electricity. Graphite has movable layers and are, is greasy. It's basically the same as metals in metallic bonding. Hydrogen, a non-metal, actually forms positive ions, which we would expect it to form negative ions. Mercury, a metal, which is supposed to have a high melting point, has a low boiling point. It exists as a liquid at room temperature. And group 1 metals like sodium or cal cali, basically potassium, have low melting points and densities, which are properties that you don't expect from metals. And here are some, uh, this is basically the key, the key ideas that we've just talked about since the start of the video. Metals are shiny, non-metals aren't. Metals can conduct electricity, non-metals don't, and they can conduct heat, of course, and non-metals basically don't conduct them very well, they're insulators. Metals are malleable, non-metals are brittle. Metals have high melting points, higher melting points than non-metals. And metals are denser than non-metals. Metals form positive ions and non-metals form negative ions in reactions. And the final point is that metal oxides are basic and non-metal oxides are acidic. Thank you for watching my video. Please come back and watch the previous videos to basically not miss anything out. Thank you very much for watching my video and please like, comment and subscribe. And if there are any questions that you don't understand, feel free to comment. I will help you. Alright, see you next time.